It's later that evening. The Mark and his girlfriend are on their way to an art valuation company. But before they can set foot in the place, they're intercepted by Polly. Hi there, are you here to see Mr Belfridge? Yes. The Mark has already seen her earlier as the artist Jay Walker. If he recognises her, the whole scam will be off. It's fully booked here, so we're going to go to the viewing room across the road. It's just a nice little hotel, is that OK? OK. It's not far, it's just down here. It's really lovely. Before the Mark can get a clear look at her, they head off, running straight into Paul... Yeah. Nice to see you, Jess. ...carrying the painting. Almost very, very late. Oh, no, that's OK. Good timing, actually. Yeah. They cross over the road to a hotel for the meeting. Oh, so I've set it all up here. Polly gets the painting out ready for the valuer. I think we should hear all that this guy has to say. He'll give you a valuation based on today's prices. There's just one tiny problem. The valuation appointment was booked using a phone number supplied by Paul. So I can give you the number. I would call them now, if you can. Hi there. You'd need Charles Belfort. The Mark was actually talking to Jess, standing in the next room. He could fit you in at five o'clock. Is that going to be OK? Yeah. She gave him the address of a real art valuation company. Meeting outside that genuine shop front made the whole setup seem legit. Um, it's fully booked here, so we're going to go to the viewing room across the road. It's a nice little hotel. Is that OK? Back in the hotel, here he is, Mr Belfridge. The art expert. Expert in scamming, more like. Like any respectable professional, Alex has a business card. The card looks professional enough. That's because he got it from the real valuation company whilst the Mark was walking to the hotel. Ah, a Jay Walker. Yep. Excellent. You familiar is, with Jay's work? I'm yes, saying. this yep. is uh, Childhood's Dreams yep. number six. That's it. Yes. What's fantastic about what she has is the childlike sort of playfulness that she brings out through the painting. There's different emotions on the different corners because there's a lot of sort of happiness that's gone into this. There's a lot of sort of energy and sort of childlike quality that comes through. Obviously, the splashings are, you know, they give it that movement that you need. I know that what she does sometimes, she lets it dry on one side, she'll let the, the paint dribble, as you can see here. You get these, these traces of paint and here going this way. So, what's that painting really worth? If I was to give you a valuation for what it's worth today, I would say that you should be asking somewhere between three and a half and four for something like this. Now, after you're looking at going higher. You're looking at 20, 25, because the hype will, will bring it up there. The valuation is much higher than the mark imagined. There's even talk of hiring it out for exhibitions, which would make him even more money. If this does a year on tour, then you will be looking at a lot of value going up and up and up. Um, where that value will end? Who's to say? Yeah. Art is a fickle thing, uh, but at the moment you should be looking at three and a half to four thousand. Alex has given his appraisal, but has he done enough to persuade the Mark this is a fantastic investment? So, uh, would you be thinking on investing, possibly? Yeah. I mean, but, uh, but all things aside, yeah. financially, we, we obviously I wouldn't take for granted for the fact that yeah you valued it at three and a half grand mm. or whatever. And yeah, possibly in a week it'd be worth a lot more. Mm. We've got um, we've got to buy it as if to say, look, there it's fifteen hundred fifty. The mark seems reluctant to spend fifteen hundred and fifty pounds based purely on what that painting might be worth in the future. Hi. I found Mr. Kelly outside. Oh hi. The mobile. Oh. Ashley has been listening from outside the door. The talk of the selling price is his pre-arranged cue to come back in for some final persuasion. <laughs> He's going to claim that he's got another buyer lined up, so the Mark will have to act fast. I've, I mean, I've got people very interested. I'm sure you do. Just the words out. Well, I think, I think that, you know, I think we all know that she's potentially one of the bright young stars of, exactly. of British modern art. Well, why don't we uh, uh, vacate the room? And, uh, um, yeah, OK. Uh, take a few minutes. Yeah. Nice. 
the mark is left to wonder whether this really is a good investment. But before any doubt sets in, the hustlers return to seal the deal. Fred and I have had a discussion and sorted a few things out. Uh, absolutely, if you wish to buy the piece, you get it at the price as the price is set today. So say, for instance, I give you the money, mm -hmm. which say I've got, what happens now? Are we just going to be able to carry it out here? Or? You should, it would be your painting and it doesn't go back on the wall. He's definitely interested. Can Ashley convince him the whole deal is above board? What would I have to show you that it's mine? Oh, you would have receipt, you can stop by back at the showroom, pick up anything you wanted from me, any proof. I mean, you know where it is, it's there, so... Yeah, yeah. Will the Mark really buy a painting from people he's only just met? It's fine. Yeah. Yeah. But like I said, I mean, as long as there is a receipt and there's proof of purchase, then you can have it. Yeah, I, I, can, I mean, I've got, yeah. I've got receipt book with me, so... Okay. So we've got, we've got the cash, so... All right, let's do it then. Good ching Okay, great, let's do it. So who am I making the receipt to? Who, what's your full name? And there's the money. Ashley takes more than a grand and a half in cash and writes out a receipt from a company that doesn't exist. Thank you so much. I was very delighted to meet you today. That was uh, extremely lucky for us. The Mark leaves happy that he's got himself a great deal. The painting will be worth thousands as soon as the Sunday supplement comes out. Actually, no, it won't. There is no article, and there is no hot new artist called Jay Walker. All the paintings in the gallery were created by a bunch of kids throwing around cheap paint. Not so much priceless as worthless. We showed the mark footage of his masterpiece being created. Children, it's a complete hoax. I wasn't happy that we got taken to the hotel, but the hotel was nice. And the fact that they'd already had like a picture stand up and it just looked fine to me, really. I didn't, I didn't think anything of it. It's cruel, to be honest. To, to, to be put in this position is quite cruel. It was kind of scary to think that kind of thing, you know, goes on every day. You know, I met those people today. It wasn't like we've been planning this for months or weeks. So I found out about the scam 15 minutes before I met those people. I put on a suit, I put on some glasses, I took my cap off. I came downstairs, I've come back here, you know, an hour later and um, I've got £1,500. to you, you have to get the drawer to pass through the archway. That seems quite easy, doesn't it? But you're not allowed to touch it. The idea of getting this problem dealt with here and now, and for free, seems too good to refuse. The Mark would be mad to turn down Paul's offer of an on-the-spot extermination.